Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Prey. Things feel grim. I know that we've been trapped on a dying space station surrounded by hostile aliens basically the whole time. But at this point, I have a pretty solid feeling that uh, none of it is real and that everything we're doing is sort of being controlled anyway. What you see? I'm hungry. Seems like it. I'm always hungry. I will wait in you. You will come out. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Seems to be the case, doesn't it? I saw a phantom in here. I know there was a phantom in here. Also, there's a technopath in here. We should maybe just uh, open up with one of these. Of course, I can reload it last time. Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality. Okay. Now we are having lots of other problems. I tried to catch the mimic with the stun. It's a little unlikely. There we go, that's what I wanted. Wait, this turret is unfriendly? Oh, right, right, right. The, uh, the techno dude was... I can never remember their name. Techno Lord? Techno something. That guy was messing with it. Let's fix it. Let's make it friendly again. It does. Okay. I still didn't fight the phantom though. I am a hundred percent sure that I saw I saw a phantom in there. Come with me. Pretty hard for something to sneak up on the turrets now. There we go. I guess the Phantom did die, because here's his corpse. I definitely didn't kill him. Maybe the turrets got him. Oh man. What a mess. What a mess this whole thing has turned into. You know, once upon a time, I thought we were seeing a simple, existential threat to humanity-style alien invasion. But now, things are so weird. Ugh. Alright, let's, uh, let's finish searching the toolboxes and the people and stuff. There's corpses all around. Lynn Cloyer. Yet another person whose name I've never heard before. I mean, it makes sense that there's a lot of people on the station and everything. Technopath. Why is that so hard for me to remember? It's like a telepath, but techno. It's like a telepath who's really into Skrillex. I don't know enough about techno to make a techno reference that isn't just Skrillex. Sorry. I should actually probably have just eaten that food. Side points. Okay. You should let the new guy in. Why do you have Ivy's password, Zachary West? Yeah, Hunter Sable. All right. Khan is a nice guy, and who can blame him for trying to get off corrective? And wanting a real desk instead of a card table. He sits out there all by himself with nothing to do. I feel sorry for him. 
There's definitely still aliens, like, nearby. Ugh. Ivy does not care for mean people, and she's letting Zachary know that. And then, of course, there is the treasure hunt. Yeah. I guess I should have tried to figure that out before moving into, uh, into deep storage. There are so many aliens outside. Man, the entire station got completely overrun so quickly. Alright. Scanning target, no alien material detected. How am I gonna get in here? Well, I don't see a key card. You know what? Let's, uh, real quick. I didn't think it would be a necessity because we, you know, just went through the front door. But real quick, let's drop down into here and see if maybe there's a, a body or something to search. Oh, this goes even further back. Although I guess it doesn't actually go anywhere. Okay, so no, there's no point in going down here. It was just a way into the room if you don't want to go straight through the front door like a crazy person. I just climb through. I should be able to climb through here. This is... If I turn sideways, that should work. Well, you know what? Actually, what I can do, though, now that I've done this... There we go. Huntress, don't let anybody ever tell you that you are not the finest piece of weapons technology ever invented. Okay, medical operators. Not useful right this second, but not a bad thing to have around. Central repository access control. Well, we better grant access. I could indeed use a map. Okay, there's a mimic out there. It is still alive, I believe. Let's move forward. Man, really? Microgravity detected. I guess this makes a lot of sense, but I'm not happy about it. All right. You know what? Man, I hate cystoids. What an annoying but not that dangerous group of enemies. There we go. So if I just tap a nest with the glue gun, does that make it explode too? Just sort of like out of panic? Yes, it does. Alright, well. Guess we're saving pistol ammo. This glue gun really has been tremendously valuable. Come on. Chain reaction. I know this is a little tedious, but I so much do not want to... Oh, there we go. So much do not want to be flying around here with loose cystoids. Why are there so many of them? Probably because of the weaver. Well, weavers, it turns out, are not actually very tough. All 
Fine. Let's just fill the room with easily agitated flaming explosive aliens. Actually, they seem to just want to glom together into a big group. This this might be better for me because it might increase my chances of getting a, uh, a good chain reaction going. Oh, I almost hit that. Yeah, okay, that was a small chain reaction. Ooh, nice. I'm learning. I'm getting there, you know. I hate these ones. Broke off from the main pack and just like flying around erratically. I might have to switch to the pistol bullets just for the projectile speed. The the delay between my shot and the hit is killing me. I mean, I could just QB them, right? It's not like I'm out of QB now. Whew. Okay. That nest is apparently still active. I was hoping to catch them right as they come out. You know, they'd all be in the same place. That's not working. Okay, so how many more nests could there possibly be? I've killed the weavers. Or the weaver, singular. It turns out weavers just, like, are not a threat. There's certainly no techno-whatevers. Aha! Get lead! Okay. Are we clear? Maybe. What am I doing? Why do I care if there's a little bit of a leak? In the fuel lines of the space station there. Who could possibly care about such an irrelevant thing? Right, let's just do a little exploration. So this is all just like piping and stuff. None of this matters. There we go. What is up here? Does this just look out into space, or...? Yeah, it's like... That's a solid surface. That I just intentionally boosted my way into. You know, honestly, I'm really glad that cystoids don't have loot on them. So I think I would be compelled to constantly go after that loot. Alright. New new strategy. New protocol. Whenever I'm about to touch anything, we look all around it, check for traps. Okay. Yeah, sure, it's just like using DOS box. Good work. I was worried the drive might have been damaged. You can use Chief Show's workstation to download the fabrication plan. Then we can reconstruct your arming key. 
Huh. Turrets are responding to something. Wait, this isn't the way out. Wait, it's over here. There we go. Oh, that has become strongly radioactive. Somebody was not careful with their shooting. Data vaults. Okay, that was on me. I definitely just like stared at the thing for a couple of seconds before comprehending what I was up to. Whew, okay. <clears throat> a lot of combat. A lot of combat in this, uh, this back portion of the game. I feel like I didn't do so much fighting at the beginning. Maybe... Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Oh, hey, that's an engineering operator. Well, I don't think that 13 suit health is worth the trouble of getting to him. Check in with Chief Show, sign for firearm, check displays, walk the area, check all rooms, get someone to wash security booth windows. Okay. Good news, you never have to worry about the security booth windows again. Chief Show says you've been great, your corrective is closed, I'm very impressed, we're getting that workstation ASAP. Hey, nice. Akande, who, who approved your request for shotgun rounds? We all agree there's something in here, but please don't damage the equip. We all agree there's something in here. That's, like, pretty disconcerting. I think that's, like, uh... That note was remarkably calm in tone, considering that what they're saying is, yeah, we're pretty sure something weird has gotten onto the space station. You know, out here in space. If there's any place you are supposed to be alone... It is space. Okay. Hey, Ivy. Bender was snooping around my desk looking for rats again. He's so weird. I mean, rats? In space? He was acting all big city cop. Newsflash. No crime in orbit. They need to ship him home. I don't think you should talk to him. I don't like the way he looks at you. Make sure you get the fab plan I sent you. You have to play this game with me, everybody's in. Zachary West is real creepy. He's being real creepy to Ivy. That's what I've gathered so far over the course of several emails. He's into her, but he's into her, and he's not, like, conducting himself in a way that is probably very smooth or, indeed, very comforting to her. Well, there's a download station, but hold up. I want to go in here. Because I'm clearly not supposed to go in here, and that makes me want to be in here really bad. What in the hell? This is the closest I've ever been to one of those. Oh no, the electricity disarmed the... Damn it. The electricity disarmed the rifle, the Q-beam right as I was about to shoot. And now I think that thing knows I'm here. It's definitely throwing stuff at me. Sorry guy, you are not my intended target. How where'd it go? Ow, ow. Damn it. There's a puddle of fuel on the floor, it ignited that, and then I was standing in it. Those things are actually pretty dangerous from close range. I forgot that they just shoot cystoids out. Not totally ideal, that encounter. Good work. I was worried the drive might have been damaged. You can use Chief Show's workstation to download the fabrication plan. Then we can reconstruct your arming key. Normal gravity detected. Alien detected. Okay, let's try this again, but this time with less getting murdered. Okay. 
can definitely stop them from shooting if you get the drop on them. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Oh, I knocked him down the stairs. Getting knocked down the stairs does seem to have done a little bit of damage. Hey, you. Inspector, your suit suffers from wear and tear. pick up these notes just that I have them in my transcribe in case I should need them later. I can't imagine why I would. Uh, same deal over here. Actually, I'm not sure if I do save... No, no, I definitely do save emails that I look at. Alright, let's try this again. That did no damage. But what is it doing? Oh god. Oh right, the electricity. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I couldn't control my mouse cursor. Like I couldn't control where the center of the screen was, and I couldn't move. Maybe that is the uh, that's the fear effect. Also, I'm really surprised at how little damage it took from having a huge heavy tape drive hurled at it. That's like a pretty serious piece of mass. Alright. That time I got the drop on it. Where's that phantom? Because there was a phantom in here, wasn't there? Of course, no med kit. stuff is flame retardant in a really strange way. I don't even need to do that. Okay. Now let's fix that electric junction so that I don't have to worry about accidentally frying my own face. Man, I feel like I just use spare parts all the time everywhere. Wait, was this it? Did it? Oh. You know what? It might have, it made a phantom out of this corpse, I think. I thought the phantoms had to be made out of living people. I guess maybe maybe they never told me that. Maybe that's something I assumed. Because there's definitely no phantom in here right now. This way to Data Vault B. Well, uh, can't get in there. Guess that door has to be operated from elsewhere? Yeah, alright. So probably we have to come in here eventually. I just got here early. All right, let's see about confidential records. This is my favorite kind of records. So like, I mean, if we're if we're uh, accepting the idea that a large part of what's happening to me right now is a simulation, then it's not necessarily the case that any of the stuff we're seeing is even real, right? I don't know. Maybe maybe let's not speculate on the plot. Everything will be revealed in time. Just focus narrow, because otherwise... I'm going to be in here trying to figure out all the permutations of fakeness and simulation forever. Can you put these in the safe, please? Thanks. I will not be doing that. Uh, okay. I have no volunteer ID. That's certainly true. Test subject ID numbers are not provided by this workstation. Digital signature, Dr. Morgan Yu. I mean, that's just... That's fine. So I guess if we had a... Test subject's identifier, we could find things out about them? I've seen... Test subject bodies. Or, sorry, quote-unquote volunteer bodies. Right in the, uh, in the abandoned shuttle and then in other places. Wow, that was... I was really expecting something a little bit more incredible. What's in here? Huh, nothing really. 
strange. Yeah, I guess I just can't remember any of those IDs. Damn it. Sorry. All right. Phantom. You don't see anything. Yeah, let's just shotgun it. And that made it on fire. Okay, well that was easy enough. I would get to use my uh my cool combat power a lot more often if I didn't always waste it by accidentally gripping my oversensitive mouse incorrectly. An energy optimizer, huh? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. It just kills any flame that happens to be nearby. It's kind of crazy. Well, here's a fabricator. Is there no recycler in here? Oh no, there's one right... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have to say, I don't think that dismantle ended up being worth the points, or worth the neuromods I spent on it, because man oh man, do you encounter a lot of spare parts. Uh, I guess that's all I want to recycle for now. Maybe I should keep some alcohol on me just in case I get feared. But we've been doing fine so far. I wonder if I could get enough neuromods by the end of the game. Okay. Well, that wasn't very stealthy. These things are not always the brightest. The Supreme Court is set to weigh in on what could be a groundbreaking decision this term. Can an emulated identity be granted power of attorney? Over the last few decades, the public has become increasingly familiar with artificial helpers, from the personal assistants on their wristwatches to the smart home systems that remind you where you put your keys. But more recent advances in hybridic tech and the genius of connect connectomics the ability to map the myriad neuronal connections inside a person's brain, have thrust digital doppelgangers squarely into the legal arena. Recently, billionaire Rourke Wallace granted power of attorney not to one of his many estranged family members, but to a robotic facsimile of himself named Ransom. Of course it is. Ransom emulates Mr. Wallace's own reasoning, interests, and to some extent personality quirks, to the point where the two are nearly indistinguishable, at least over the phone. In person, Ransom's molded ceramic and carbon body makes his true nature unmistakable. Needless to say, Mr. Wallace's family is not amused, especially concerning Ransom's decision for how to ex execute Mr. Wallace's will. There are a lot of parts of our um, sort of longer-term economic systems that are based on the idea that people live approximately a person's lifetime. Uh... security key okay uh, being able to award legal rights to a to a being that uh, will outlive a human by a great deal might actually cause some problems especially in the area of like estate execution and stuff all right sending a kill signal to a tracking bracelet is a violation of transstar policy do not activate tracking bracelets for <laughs> damn it do not activate tracking bracelets for any reason without proper authorization. Okay. Yeah. Enter bracelet ID. Uh Huh. I don't think we are particularly concerned with finding any of these people. And these are these are numbers though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we want to necessarily punch any of these into that other computer, either. Alright, what kind of files we got here? Charge plans. Uh, 
Jesus. Oh, we already have her map, but... Oh, well, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Hey, you know what? I don't think I did have this one. Alright. This could start some shit right here. I'm in pretty good shape. Got some ammo in my shotgun. I guess I'm ready. Huh. Somebody remotely terminated the power to this area. Except, I guess, just to these two workstations, because the... Morgan, Alex has you boxed in. Look, there's nothing I can do about the lockdown from out here. But I promised I'd help you. So listen. Deep storage was built with a series of data vault modules that can be jettisoned from the station. It's a redundant backup system. That's your way out. Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open up one of the vaults. Once you're in, look for a manual release. Then your ass is space junk, like me. And if you manage to get back inside, remember, you owe me. Kill the son of a bitch who hurt Abby, or I swear to God I'll haunt you. Why doesn't she just come back inside? There's so many ways that she can come back inside. Hold up. Let's read her emails. Morgan, read me. O2 almost gone. Imposter cook equals... Aha! Luca Golubkin. Track him. Security comp and volunteer quarters in the Roman division. Alright. Alright. I will not let him forget Aoi. Seriously, would you just come back inside, you big idiot? Okay, this is about the rogue operator that I built, sure. Uh, Ms. Show, I wanted to remind you we have some sensitive information regarding the volunteers, and I'd like you to make sure it's secure. I've also included fabrication plans for some charges that you should transfer to storage. Okay, well... So, what was the ID? I've already forgotten it. That email that I just read... V O one O six five five three seven. So we'll have to use this terminal in here, I'm assuming, to get his bracelet ID number. Huh. I can't choose to enter. Well, I thought for sure that that was going to be able to give me some information. All right. Well, let's use that workstation utility. Get access to the whatever, and then uh, potentially get out of here. Okay. Uh, utility. Data Vault B? Okay, Vault A is already ejected. So hold on a second. What is the personnel tracking? Do I have a. Does one of my many, many objectives involve this somehow? Escape deep storage. Because Josh Dalton is actually on the security computers, isn't he? Download the phrase's decryption key. Oh, right, that message, the decrypted message. I still haven't heard that. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm sure this isn't the last time we'll be allowed down here. We'll come back. Once we've jettisoned the data vault, we can come back in the way we came in the first time, you know, once we've uh, broken the lockdown. I should definitely build myself some ammunition. Shotgun ammunition, it turns out, is the solution to all problems. We probably need some Q-Beam in there, too, right? What are you doing on Q-Beam? Uh, yeah, I can use a little bit. Expensive stuff. And then, Neuromods! Let's do one more. I don't go through it very quickly, but when I need it, I really need it. 
Okay, how am I doing on uh, I mean, fabricate recycler charges? But at this point, I have a whole bunch. I guess I don't really need med kits. You know, I'm just gonna make a whole lot of neuro kits. And then we're gonna buy every non Typhon skill. We're going to be all that is man. I actually don't know how many neuromods I even need. Hold on. How many do I have on me right now? Several. Yeah, let's just start buying stuff. Uh, gunsmith? Sure. I use the shotgun all the time. I should probably finish upgrading it. The ability to wrench nerds at maximum efficiency? Absolutely. Uh, I don't have any of this stuff, nor do I really care about it. Okay, so everything that's left is just like passive combat ability. Not that passive combat ability is a bad thing. Just uh, a little bit less compelling to me than a lot of other choices. So in theory, there's a limited number of mods. That, I mean, we know for a fact, right? There's a limited number of mods hidden around the station. But there's an unlimited number of enemies. Typhon and... Um, Corrupted operators seem to respawn whenever you enter certain areas. Do those guys give synthetics? Because it might be possible with just... I mean, I guess you'd have to just use the wrench. Or you could use the wrench and... Can I actually get... Your shot of sweet keys? Yeah. Okay. So you could use... Uh, you know, if you could get... Synthetic material off of... Ah, uh, but you need to recycle them to get the material. I don't know. There might be a way to go infinite. What I'm saying is there might be a way to do infinite neuromods. And actually just buy up the whole tree if you're willing to do something really tedious. So, this is gone completely. I'm assuming we'll be able to come back here. I think it's reasonable to guess that. There's going to be some point where the game's like... Okay, it's almost over. Now is the time for you to, uh... Now is the time for you to have full access to the thing. And then we can go to the endgame whenever we want. Where did chipsets are? Not 100% sure how that happened. And it's just now telling me I got the security key, even though I definitely already have the security key. Why would I... Why would I do... Why would I allow this to happen? Okay, so... I wonder if there's a way to save Danielle's show. If it's possible to get her to come back on board. Because there's no reason for her to still be out there. And there's no reason that I couldn't tell her that there's no reason to still be out there. It's all very strange. It's all very strangely constructed. Microgravity detected. You're not what they say you are. Do you hear us? Rejecting the new cell lines, fighting them up like an antivirus. Okay, that was something I considered, that we are not, in fact, Morgan Yu at all, but... I mean, they pretty much... They pretty much made that explicit when they said, like, this isn't the one, start over. Morgan? Morgan, this is Chief Elazar. The airlocks on Talos are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. Okay, well, I can get back inside the station in a lot of places, actually, because I've been pretty thorough about opening those airlocks. But I would like to have a little face-to-face -face with Sarah Elazar. So let's head down there. Is this a searchable thing here? This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. I'm broadcasting to all contacts in proximity. Please, whoever is out there, listen to me. Oxygen is low and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But this I have one? no way to dock with the station from in here. 
Oh. Uh. Okay. Well, I pushed myself against it as hard as I could. It doesn't want to move. Uh, is there like a grabber arm thingy that I could use to... Uh, okay. This is a really bad time for cystoids. I just don't... There's so much no other time hey, for you right now. I find you outside your prison. Maybe trying to escape? Like me? Not safe out there. But you know this. You have headaches. See things. It is not fever. Not hallucinations. A horizon is coming. Cutting oh, through space. If we are still here when it arrives, it screams so loud. We hear it in our head. It is still far away. But it is coming closer. It will eat your prison. Every person on board. And it will still be hungry. Where will it go next, I wonder? I see you back in your prison soon, am you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta figure out a way to save Igwe, and I gotta figure out a way to get rid of all the cystoid nests. Because I'm really having trouble navigating. And why does everybody keep calling me? We've locked down the cargo bay. We're safe. For the moment. Ah. It'll be a trick to get inside. There's not an airlock anymore. That explosion took care of that. Maybe you can do something with the shipping containers. Okay. That was maybe not a great use of this thing, but I am on the clock a little bit, so... Maybe I can do something with the shipping containers. Uh... Okay, so there are places to put the shipping containers. We have to figure out how to get one of... We have to figure out how to get Igwe's container maneuvered into one of these little slots. Uh, there's these grabber arms. I don't know. Can I... I must be able to move it. Right? What if I... If I open it, he's dead. What if I shoot it with the Huntress? This is a brilliant plan. Watch it go. Why, that had no effect at all. Who would have thought? Oh, there's a container control center over here. It looks like it's maybe seen better days. Hey, Jess. Okay. Great, it's upside down. Okay. Identify the number on the container. Uh, enter that number in the docking station computer terminal. Alright, I did not note the container number. Oh my gosh, you guys. We can use the Huntress to fight the Cystoids. That's awesome. And it's something that I'm going to spend a lot of time looking into in just a minute. This little panel had the number on it, didn't it? 2312. Okay, 2312. Okay. Wait, where are the container controls? I thought I was at the right dot. Let's get rid of these cystoids, because otherwise I'm going to be too worried to think. I'm currently not interested in being efficient. Okay, the controls are... Ah! 2312, 2312. Pretty sure. Like, 70% sure that I've got that right. Uh, 
I must be real careful to press the right button on that. Okay. Whew. I do believe that I have saved his life. Oh, at last. I thought that crate would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterians. Oh, he's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. And transmitting the code to the crate I was in. Was it? Okay, he has actually gotten out. I was a little worried about opening it. We found you know. Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though, I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. Is this gonna open, or is it... It's open from that side? No, okay, here we go. It just decided to take a while. Alright, let's get the hell inside. Well, hold on. Now that I'm not on the clock anymore, and the cystoids are mostly dead, or you know, pretty, pretty close to mostly dead, let's have a little bit of a look around. Is there some other shipping containers and stuff out here? And I would like to see what is inside. I guess nothing. It would seem that there is nothing inside. Okay, well. Yeah, screw it. Once we are through here, I need to uh, patch up because I'm I'm in rough shape right now. I wonder if Rodney ever managed to get down here. I don't know how she would reach uh, Elazar. But if we manage to accumulate a little like army, maybe army is the wrong word, but you know, group of determined survivors who can work together to do great science, maybe we can still figure out a solution to this whole thing. Maybe that's the point of the simulation to see if I can lead a ragtag group of survivors to saving humanity? I don't know what's going on. Hey, that's Austin Cool. What a cool guy. Uh, Austin, you should maybe, like, hide, brother. Shit is about to get real down here. Alright, I think this might be a good time to test out our golden gun. Let's grab some weapon upgrade kits. Actually, how upgraded is my shotgun? Not that upgraded. But this is really more of a pistol situation. Let's buff up the effective range, like, all the way up. Oh, and I ran out of kits. Okay. Damage and range. Uh, oops. I had the right gun out, and then I pressed it. Unnecessary buttons. I'm not sure I'd be able to throw a container this distance. I would go for that if I thought I could make it. Oh, right! I was supposed to patch myself up because I am in horrible, horrible shape. I forgot about that. So not only do we have a better gun, though, um, with upgrades on it, although I suspect I will have to reapply these upgrades. Uh, not only do we have a better gun, but... Actually, it's been a while since I used the pistol, and I have acquired skills since then that uh, dramatically buff the output of firearms. So hopefully we're going to see, like, a pretty good showing from this gun. Okay. Maybe I should have put some of those into accuracy instead. I don't know. Alright, let's just quick save so that I don't have to do that again. Thank 
So, oh, I killed it. Wow, okay, yeah, that didn't take very much ammo at all. Unfortunately, I don't get their, uh... Doctor, you! Morgan! Austin, up shut here. the hell Officer up! Cool. If we can't open the main door, or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. The hell just hit me. Enough, enough. There's another one down there. Oh, well, take it. Yeah, okay, the damage is fine, not amazing. I have a ton of ammo for it, guys. It's very efficient in that sense. It's not using any of the ammo from my other weapons. Okay, I'm, I think I'm actually out of range on that guy, so... Let's uh, take a minute to look around. We'll close up and deal with him. I mean, if I have to close up, I may as well just goo and wrench. Oh, I didn't make any glue ammo, but that actually would be a really good idea, wouldn't it? Alright. Fuel storage. So, some of the people upstairs are not going to have uh, been involved in whatever the hell is going on. And I might be able to get some, like, relatively straight answers about what's going on from them, maybe. Unless, you know, they're all part of a, sim a simulation, or, I mean, God only knows what's actually happening. Uh, you know what? I'm still gonna try doing it with this. Right, I think we're at a range where I don't really need to be using the scope. Alright, let's see how quickly we can take him down. Honestly, I think I fired too many bullets. I think that was a... I think it's five shots to kill one of those. That is not too shabby. Okay, we gotta find some power. I really like to use these. Well, I should probably just get up here and talk to people. We'll figure it out from there. They asked me not to open the main door. Remind me never to cross you. Damn straight. Okay. Oh. No, he's cool opening the door and we killed the stuff. These PPN8s might as well be water pistols for all the good they do. You should paint yours gold. It seems to have a tremendous effect. Heard Dr. Igwe was floating in a cargo crate outside the ship. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any of us. Doctor, you. Chief Elazar will want to talk to you. Doctor Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. We only recently learned you were still on the station. All right, everybody. Hey, there's a note under here. Hey, Jessica, log in with Reployer Reployer if you need access to the cages. Don't tell anyone; it'll make me look stupid. So, sort of a re replayer. Mr. McGill, as a safety precaution, we have disabled critical machinery required to open the exterior door in Cargo Bay B, and has added insurance the door has been welded shut. If that bay is for storage only, we want to be certain there can be no accidental opening. Restoring the bay door to full function will be practically impossible. Yeah, well, I mean, practical problems are just the type I solve. Got your message about shipment failure. I dispatched an engineering operator to check it out, and something weird happened. Telemetry shows it ran into some sort of energetic lattice work. The readings were unlike anything I've seen. Side effect from a psychotronics project? In any case, the operator was able to move through it and investigate, but shortly after it became unresponsive. I'm going to have to get human eyes on it, but, after, but all our people are tied up with a critical fuel transfer. When that's done, I'll send someone to check it out. Yeah, well, we know what that's about. There's a blast in cargo door A, in cargo bay A. Exterior doors ruptured. All the bulkhead doors automatically sealed, but several of my people are missing. Dr. Igwe from Psychotronics was in there. Ekaterina said she saw a floating orb drift over to the chlorine trifluoride container and detonate. Possibly some kind of static discharge, but all the dampeners were activated. Secondary blasts went off not long ago in fuel storage, but I have that sealed tight. Something's going on and nobody is calling me back. Let me know as soon as you get this. Okay, so... 
was that the beginning of the we don't actually know yet what it was that sort of kicked everything off that might have been the start all right well, let's let ourselves into these cages and have a look around okay i like there being a lot of turrets you know what guys uh I cannot really conceive of a good reason for these not to be, like, out here and set up. Eradicator auto turret version 0.7.6 online. Okay. Typhon lures. Oh, a whole Q beam. You know, maybe we also should just like I don't actually have access to operate the door controls. Fair enough. And this is just Boy, this is just creepy as hell in here. Who's that? I can't get a... Oh, wait. Is there a name on the thing? No, it just says Transstar. Ah. I feel like I put some uh, effort into opening up the Guts cargo terminal, didn't I? Well, we'll figure it all out. Thanks for getting to Mika. Dr. Yu. I doubt any of us could have done it. Quentin. Even Elazar. We're smuggling evidence off the station. About the volunteers, the victims here. Guess he didn't trust me with what he discovered in Psychotronics. I wish he had. I thought he was a friend. But thank you for finding out the truth. Reminds me to be more careful, more aware. Yeah, listen, I didn't try to, like, wasn't trying to ruin your life or anything. I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Now, I wish we were. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Yeah, I'm totally going to. That's a lot of phantoms. Again, I don't think I've seen the effects of the vo of like the void on a phantom. I uh, I wonder if opening the cargo bay door would kill all those guys cuz they're made of people, right? Theoretically, their bodies probably aren't that uh, aren't that resistant. Morgan, I thought I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transstar mounting a rescue operation? I was in yeah, fuel storage when when the fire broke out and everyone began running. <laughs> But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire, and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Come on, you're smarter than that. An accident report. Uh, blast walls held. Now the blast door is closed. The damage contained, but we lost crew in there. Power has been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone's tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talos is falling apart. Yeah, there's a comforting normalcy in filling if out a... If only I had reached the power report, supply huh? in time. Uh, good morning. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier with the tri chlorine trifluoride aboard. It has been offloaded and awaits you in Cargo Bay A. I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols, as you will be the lucky individuals that get to escort these contents to fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you what chlorine trifluoride will do if you mishandle it. Just ask Enoch. 
Stick to procedures and everything will be fine. Once you're secured, I'll give you all the rest of the shift off. Reply, frowny face. Boy, you have no idea. Dr. Deo Igues, uh, Dayo, I think he said, uh, assigned to your area temporarily. I've encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid interacting with personnel. There are some incoming materials I'd like him to handle directly. His work is confidential. He answers directly to me. We gotta get into Sylvain Bellamy's room and figure out what the hell is in there. Because I have some serious questions about his role on this station. I've definitely read that one before. Okay, let's not steal their food supplies. I think that will be looked upon poorly. It's a good way to reduce morale. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe, Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, shit. brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Here, yeah, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. Oh, I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. Yeah, that makes sense, probably. Where the hell is Elazar, anyway? Well, that looks like an operator dispenser down there. Ooh, that is an open shipping crate. Aha! And I mean this, this is nice. We'll just uh, take it over here and add it to the defense battery. Okay. Well, there's a weaver in there. A live weaver. I guess that's where all the phantoms came from. It makes sense. I'm going to throw so many repliers at those guys. How do I, uh... Yeah, hey, hi. How you doing? Captain Elazar was worried about Mika. Thanks for setting her mind at ease. Awesome. Med kit. Alright, well that's Captain Elazar then. We'll head over there in just a moment. Let me finish stealing everything that isn't food. They don't need broken cooler fans. Or, you know, med kits or ammunition. I'm sure they're fine. Please relay the following to the security crew at the uh, next staff meeting. Earthside sent a very good appraisal of our provisioning and cargo staff during last month's visit by a board of directors member. Talos cargo staff performed admirably during the inspection. Well done. <coughs> yeah, seems uh, seems pretty important. All right. Why isn't Micah with you? Are you trying to get her to Morgan? You. I'm surprised you escaped Simlab. Yes, I knew about that. I checked the shuttle logs when the rumors about you being demoted started circulating. All I found was you checked into the sim lab but never signed out. Not sure you could, but it seems you've escaped. Just like these creatures of yours, the ones your brother said couldn't get free. Yes, Wish just I had better like news. We're holding out here, but just barely. These standard-issue PPNs might as well be kept guns for all the good they do to those things. 
Only way back into Talos is through Cargo Bay B, and that's locked tight for our safety. And yours. You want the code? Help us fortify things here. That means eradicator turrets, and lots of them. To oh. do that, though, we'd need fabrication plans and a working fabricator. And both of those are out of reach at the moment. The fabrication plan is in the safe in the security office. But the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. I also don't know what I'm planning. That's weird, right? Psionics. Any luck with those it's all true, isn't it? What these aliens can do, what we can do. To think it was considered chicanery, flim flam, pseudoscience. They'd be quite the target for mockery. Yeah, I suppose. But your yeah, brother, well. your brother, he believed. And so did you. At least, you, you did there, before your self experiment in a similar some help elsewhere. Okay, I'm done listening to the two of them talk at the same time about different subjects. Dr. Yu, heard you found the body of a smuggler in Cargo Bay. Quentin Purvis? Mika filled me in. I knew him. I didn't know he was involved in the smuggling ring on the station. Thought he was a friend. Guess I wasn't looking closely enough. Alright, so, uh... How many turrets do they really want? I gotta retrieve the turret fabrication plan and place turrets in the loading zone of Cargo Baby. There must be a way to get some turrets online. Yeah, I got a way. So you can do this without going after the fab plan if you just put enough turrets in the loading zone? Yeah, because I have two more turrets right here. I'll tell you what, guys. I even have so many spare parts, I'll fortify these for you. These Transtar PPN-8 pistols are mostly for show. They don't do much against the attackers. With the eradicated turrets, we have a chance. All right, if they're just going to open the door, I've seen what happens when the turrets get attacked by more than one of these things by once, uh, at once, and I've never seen what happens when the turrets come up against the weaver. Officer Maddox, ready. Say the word, Chief. All right, let's do this. This is gonna be cool. Watch your asses. They come through that door. Don't let them get to cover. Or we'll have no idea what they'll be next. If this is how I'm going out, this is how I'm going out. Uh, sure words never spoken, sir. Do I... Do I give a signal? These turrets are Eradicator class. Hope they live up to the name. Hey, Sarah, this the ATs is are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's yes, the code for Cargo Bay B. Hello, check. Breathing, check. Scared, check. Medical operators ready to go. You men ready? We only get okay. one shot at this. Let's not all talk now over or each other. Alright. Darcy. Darcy. Hey. Before sliding the door open, check your surroundings. Take a mental snapshot. You start seeing double of anything, be sure you know which target to shoot. Yeah, good luck to us, I guess. Actually, hold on. If I'm going to be standing this close, let's do this. And actually, I also have Gunsmith now, so I know I picked up some things here. Okay, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, okay, I am ready to absorb the brunt of the damage. Damn it, 
I hit my uh, hit my combat thing way too well. Remarkably, Sam's hurt. But it looks like it looks like we had no casualties. Now that we are secure here, we can hold out indefinitely. If you send other survivors here, I will protect them. Okay, well, cool. that's some fine shooting, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's talking about my shooting or his own. I pretty much just fired a shotgun into a doorway. Wasn't sure how that would play out, but I like how it did. Yeah, that's cool. Keep talking to me while I rip out pieces of these aliens and put them into my pocket. I need a cigarette. You need a med kit, sir. Theoretically, there shouldn't be Typhon in any of the shipping containers, right? Because how would they have gotten in there? So I guess I don't need to be concerned. This game has given me a, uh, a surplus of concern. I guess it would be best not to waste shotgun ammo, though. Nice, keep themselves. Always welcome. Alright, at this point, I'm the savior of all humanity, and I am declaring that all of the objects on the station belong to me. Even this baseball glove. Hold on a second. Especially this baseball glove. That said, do I maybe still want to go out and get the turret fabrication plans? Because, like, that could be useful, right? Actually, I don't know. When am I going to use a bunch of turrets? My experience with turrets has not been, like, super fantastic so far. It's not very useful to me, but I'm glad somebody was having a good time. Is that the first cargo container that I've opened that just had cargo in it? This one has tape drives that sort of, from the front, uh, look a little bit like they're screaming. Oh, if you position the light just right, it kind of makes it look like a smile. Aw, adorable. Okay. Let's, uh, let's focus up here. Man, why did I go this way? Probably would have been a little faster to go around the top. Okay, wow, we've had a lot of weapon upgrade kits in, uh, like, very quick succession here. Oh. Well, I guess the Weaver never found him or it would have turned him into a phantom. I don't know whether to be thankful for that or... Where am I? Oh. Yeah, I've been here before. Quinton Purvis and his container full of food. Okay, so we're, like I said, we're always opening up shortcuts. Everything's more connected than it once was. 
Uh, I don't love that the coral is spreading so rapidly, though. And spreading coral means live weavers. And that's a concern because we know that a lot of the other typhon organisms are being spread by the weavers. But I don't know, like, nothing makes weavers, right? So they're all actually coming here from wherever it is they're from. Unless the telepaths make weavers, or I don't know. Again, it's possible none of this is even real in the first place. Who knows what's going on? How many layers of simulation deep are we? And I just looked at the time. And we have no sound again. Hold on, I'm gonna tab out and tab back in. Weird. Morgan, it's Mikhaila. Look, there may be a way to bypass your brother's override. It will give us access to the main lift, the airlocks. But to do it, you'll have to reboot the station. Yes, the whole station. There's a panel for cutting the power in the main reactor control room. The reactor should restart not long after. It is the only way. I'm sending you the code to the reactor room. Man, isn't everything the only way? All right. That's what we're going to call it for today. Come back next time. I don't, man, I don't want to go to the reactor. Come back next time to find out if I uh, come up with something better to spend an hour doing. And we'll see you then.